Hello friends, welcome to SSM Sharda Education's YouTube channel. In this series of daily updates, we are going to discuss about a significant topic which will stand helpful for the upcoming exams. November 29, 2021, the winter session of Parliament began on a violent note when the Farm Laws Repeal Bill 2021 cleared the two houses by means of voice votes without any debate. Now we'll have a look at the description of the three bills. The government had listed the Farm Laws Repeal Bill 2021. Here is all you need to know about it. First, Farmers Produce Trade and Commerce Promotion and Facilitation Bill 2020. Provisions to design a surrounding where farmers and sellers can relish the freedom to sell and purchase farm goods outside registered Mondays under the state's APMCs to support obstacle-free interstate and intrastate business of farmers' goods. To support obstacle-free interstate and intrastate business of farmers' goods. To cut down marketing or shipping costs and help farmers in getting better prices. To serve a smooth structure for electronic sales. Secondly, the Farmer Empowerment and Protection Agreement of Price Assurance and Farm Services Bill 2020 Provisions Farmers can get into a contract with agribusiness companies, processors, traders, retailers or large vendors for sale of future farming goods at predefined price. Minor and small farmers with land less than 5 hectares to gain by the means of aggregation and contract Marginal and small farmers account for 86% of total farmers in India. To transmit the risk of market deviation from farmers to sponsors. To facilitate farmers to approach modern tech and get better input. To cut down the cost of marketing and promote farmers' income. Farmers can employ indirect marketing by erasing negotiators for full price understanding active dispute settlement system with redressal agendas. Thirdly, the Essential Commodities Amendment Bill 2020 Provisions to eliminate commodities like cereals, pulses, oil seeds, onion and potatoes from the list of essential materials. It will reduce the fraud of stockholding limits on such items except under extraordinary chances like war. This plan will attract private sector or FDI into farm sector as it will expel fears of private shareholders of extreme regulatory conflicts and business movements. To bring investment for farm infrastructure like cold storages and improvising food supply chain. To support both farmers and customers by delivering price stability to build competitive market surrounding and scale down wastage of farm goods. Now we'll have a look on farmers' demands. The first and foremost demand of the protesting farmers' organization is the repeal of three new agricultural laws. The second demand of farmers is the guarantee of minimum support price to ensure procurement of crops at a suitable price. The farmers are also demanding to get a written assurance in the form of a bill for the continuation of MSP and conventional food grain procurement system. The farmers' organizations want the APMC or the Monday system to be protected. The third demand of farmers is the withdrawal of the electricity amendment bill as they feel that they won't get free electricity due to this. The farmer's fourth demand is to end the fine and jail sentence for stubble burning. The farmers are demanding MSP as recommended by the Swaminathan Commission. The Swaminathan Commission report states that the government should raise the MSP to at least 50% more than the weighted average cost of production. It is also known as the C2 plus 50% formula. It includes the imputed cost of capital and the rent on the land called C2 to give farmers 50% returns. Thank you for watching this video. 
please do like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Till then, take care.